The nomination process is now closed. What we will do now, what we will do now, is hear one minute. Is hear one minute. Will be timed by Leland. Which will be timed by Leland, sir. From each of our nominees. From each of our nominees. About what they would say. About what they would say. Or perhaps their strategy. Or perhaps their strategy. Towards the mayor. Towards the mayor. Attempt to represent Occupy Richmond as best as possible. And an attempt to Occupy Richmond as best as possible. So if our... I don't think a minute is on. We don't have much extra time. Um, so, uh, can we go ahead? Why? Claire is volunteer to go first. Okay, um, I, sorry, I just jumped ahead because I just wanted to wait to do one minute. Um, I, uh, I, I will say that I get a little bit nervous in these kind of situations, so I think my best role would probably be to stay, to help everyone stay on topic, to make sure a lot of research has been done. Um, about why we can go into these places, and I'm, I'm happy to help with a few other people do that tonight um, and make sure we come well prepared. Um, as far as like what I would say to the mayor is just that uh, First Amendment trumps city ordinance every time. Sorry, and that's just how I feel about it. Um, and that he should work with us to help us figure out how we can do it, how we can do that. Because there's other cities in the country that their mayors have been doing that. And, and helping to compromise. Um, but I think my best role would be help facilitate the conversation to stay on this topic and not so much about the broader ideas and the philosophies at hand with the Occupy movement. Just about this topic. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Claire. Should I stay up there? No, it's fine. Let someone go. Good evening. I'm Teddy Parham, and I would love the opportunity to talk to the mayor again. First of all, I want him to know that we are a non-violent movement. I think that is really important. Um, like Rambo, he drew first blood, but we don't want to have that anymore. Okay? I want him to understand that for 32 years I've been fighting this battle alone, and now I have been blessed with all of you all, and we're fighting for the same thing. We love our city, we love our country, but we don't like our government. And it's time for change, and we're not going to stop until some changes have been made in this city. Awesome. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Vivek. Hi, and I'm actually a physician, graduated from the school just down the road, and I'm here in the Occupy movement because I believe in human rights, uh, human needs, human security, and human flourishing. And in the correspondence that went back and forth between us and the mayor's office, I didn't hear what we are bringing to the table, what services we're going to provide. I know that we're all about social justice, but we're also about social service. This is month eight. Since, Doc, uh, since, since Mayor Jones declared his anti-poverty commission, we were providing some services down at Kanawa. We will continue to provide services for the city, but we have to work with other groups doing that. Now, I know tomorrow's topic will be limited, um, and I'll try to keep my remarks and my listening narrow, but I would like the opportunity to help represent this diverse movement, and certainly my class, which is underrepresented, but certainly here with you. Hi, um, I'm Danielle. <laughs> um, I feel like it's really important because of the subject matter that the GA has limited us to, that someone be there that is capable of discussing the nuances of jurisprudential theory on the First Amendment. I think that it's really, really important that we pinpoint the mayor down on why he believes that we do not have the right to be in public space. And that argument has to be cogent and nuanced, and it has to be able to be to be articulated in, in a very good way. I know there are plenty of people who are really 
up on the First Amendment, but that is what I bring as well. Um, so I, I'd really like the chance to be able to hear what he has to say um, and respond in order to protect all of our rights, because um, it's essentially a rights issue. Thanks. Hello. Um, I think may, maybe my, uh, one of my main reasons, for, one of my main reasons for wanting to go tomorrow, one of my main reasons for wanting to go tomorrow is to, I, if I get the chance to speak with the mayor and express how important it is that the system that we are living in reflect human values rather than just its own, uh, rather than it just being a rigid system that we feel we have to adhere to, because human values obviously are starting to seethe in the human world. And if the system we've created for ourselves doesn't start to become liquid with it, it will shatter. And um, it's time, it, it, just that letting us camp it apart would be such a win for just freedom, you know? It would be such a win for uh, coming back to sanity, basically. So that's my main point, really. The necessity of it to change, and if it doesn't, it'll change pain. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'm a really big believer in, in order to have a social change or change in any matter in that saying, you have to have an individual change first. So I feel as a lot of the times we get hung up on the thought of occupying and how to change things economically, but we have to realize you have to educate and be able to change individuals where you're thinking or just broaden it so they can encompass everything. I believe a lot of that can be done with community outreach and just getting out there and letting them know that we're here and we can listen to what they have to say. And I would like to know what the mayor is doing in order to educate people for that because I hear a lot about what he is for and what he is doing. But I don't actually see any of that. And I feel like there are a lot of people out there that need to know and it needs to be expressed that this is a big issue to us as well. It's getting out to people that we don't necessarily have to deal with their same woes from day to day. So that's my Um, I think that it's important when we're addressing the mayor that we explain how uh, this avenue of speech and expression and assembly is really important to us and why we aren't just going to uh, use the system that has been provided to express political and economic and social beliefs. So I want to talk about uh, the like unique opportunities that an occupation gives us to educate each other, to communicate with each other, and to connect with each other, and how this is like a vital tool for understanding like the world that we're in and the people in it, and that if and that the tools that we have at our disposal are not sufficient, and that this is a very important important way to go about. Uh, discussing issues with each other. Thank you. Next. Uh, I would not really want to go. I think I would be good in that space, but and that may be a good reason for me to be there. Um, but um, I think what I have to offer is that while I respect people as individuals, I do not hold any. Um, I'm not going to praise someone for being in a position of authority, um, so I will be very direct, I will speak my mind, and I am not going to uh, sit there and, you know, grovel at someone's feet. Um, I would also require, if I'm in this group, that there is a direct strategy in the way we do things. I will require that we discuss at length what we're going to talk about, how we're going to act in that space, um, and how we're going to act in solidarity. Um, so that's all I have to say. Uh, I might not be the easiest person to work with in that space, but that might be a good idea. Thank you. Um, I'm actually in the same boat as her. I am having a lot of second thoughts on whether I'm the right person because I was at the plaza when the mayor showed up and he said that he had shown leniency and I am always right on my last draw and breaking and yelling at somebody, especially when they're lying to my faces. So if you don't want somebody who's going to lose their temper, probably shouldn't have me there. <laughs> I'm 
just finished the match. <laughs> Thank you for your honesty. My name is Mark, and um, what I would do in my strategy of coaching, uh, if I'm nominated, is that I would like to prick his conscience. He baptized both of my kids, and um, I would like to prick his conscience on his calling as a minister and what he upholds and what he's and, and his actions and what he does. And um, I work along well with anybody. And uh, if I'm nominated to go forward, that's the capacity I would act in. And this may not be exactly what I would say, these words, but I want to convey to the mayor that democracy is about the leadership of the people, that democracy demands that we, the people, take the responsibility for getting the things done that need to be done. And we, as a, as a group, have done that. We are not concerned so much about the mayor's agenda. We are concerned about the fact that the welfare of the people is not being taken into consideration, that's been co-opted by corporate interests who have taken over and have put out some appeasement measures and little bits of reform here and there, but we are about revolution. It is time to change the entire system and it's a systemic issue that is a problem. It is not going to be met by his little half measures that he admitted. And I think as a minister, you need to be concerned about the welfare of the people. Thank you. Thank you. Love it, love it, love it. Mr. Sir Williams. All I can say is that uh, all of you, most of you who know me, no idea from a point of truth. Facts and relevant information. That, that's what I'm afraid. The word occupy simply is a verb, and what I feel is being attacked is why we're occupying, which is to raise an awareness for the empathy of the human condition. And I can speak from experience. I don't have any pre manufactured statements, only my experience of staying up all night talking to addicts and homeless people and administering medical care and cooking food. So, experience for me will be my greatest strength. And the universe. So the universe. Hey, man, Hi, my name's Jordan. Hello, Jordan. Um, I'm a student, which occupies, which takes up a lot of my life. And I think it's really important that students are represented and represented well in this meeting. Um, although I would like to point out that Q and Ira are both also students, so keep that in mind. Um, I definitely think students, and they, since we make up a large population of this movement, need to be represented. Um, and I would hope that I could, could do that well and you all would trust me to do so. What I have to say is more for you guys than for the mayor, but if you like it, let me know. Uh, the mayor thinks that he shares our concerns, but he goes about it in a very different way than we do. Uh, I think he feels powerless because a lot of the woes that we deal with come from a national scale rather than a city scale. So he tells us a lot about the city programs that he's doing, and that doesn't really do anything about the problem. What he needs to understand is that genuine change comes from the bottom up, not from the top down, and that he has an opportunity to cultivate that bottom up change. And he is abdicating his responsibility when he doesn't cultivate a place for us to have the kind of dialogue where we can bring bottom-up change to the bear. And that's what he's ignoring. I want to bring that to his attention and make him answer for that. Thank you. Hi guys, can you hear me? I'm not very loud. Um, I just wanted to say that I think Figuring out arguments, um, I can understand easily what's being said um, and uh, sort of facilitate when people are arguing two different things. I'm pretty good at that. Um, I'm also in media, and I think we need a media person there. Um, and I'm also uh, very concise, and I think that's something we need as well. Um, I have all My chat, my chat. If you have been nominated, if you have been nominated, please move back towards the stage. Please move back towards the stage.